Greetings, greetings. What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to Galilee 3 TV. I'm your host, G. Miller. Hey, listen, um, on one of my previous videos, I did a review about um, making mods to the Pelican Bass Rated 10E. Uh, don't want to really sound like a hypocrite, you know what I mean? But I'm not right about everything. I admit that, you know, I'm a man. I've been living on this earth uh, 37 years. It'll be 38, June the 26th, you know what I'm saying? And I've learned that uh, sometimes... You got to take in consideration that you're not right about everything. So with that being said, um, I want to apologize to you guys if I led anybody astray and, and didn't and they decided they didn't want to make certain modifications to this boat because you're going to need some of them. Uh, the truth of the matter is to get this boat ready like I needed it. I had to do some things. Now, everything that I show you today. Uh, some of this was already previously done. Uh, I didn't deal with any more drilling, but I did change some things up and add some things. Um, and I want you guys to take a look. Let me know what you think down in the comments. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share, whatever you need to do. Put your boy on. Uh, fishing season is, is fully in swing for me. You know what I'm saying? Um, so I'm finna really be dropping some videos, man. I, I really hadn't did nothing. I'm not a pre-spawn fisherman. Because of the pollen and all of that, man. But uh, I can't really do it with hay fever and all. But, you know, post spawn, that's more or less me. But anyway, let's get into the video. So, first off, what I did was different. Is I brought my trolling motor to the bow of the boat. Um, reason being is because I'm thinking about the weight dis distribution. Um, I wanted to put my battery in the front. Um, and kind of work my trolling motor from the front of the boat. I got this extra seat in, which is my son's seat. But, you know, most of the time it's me by myself. But either way it go, I wanted to work the boat from the front. So I did turn the head of the Minn Kota around. Um, I got this uh, bull. <sighs> I, won't, I don't want to call it a paddle for the... But it's, it's supposed to help with the, the steering um with the with the trolling motor or whatever but that's a 30 pound thrust i just got that on the front i turned the head around so forward would be forward when i'm using it and back would be back anyway i ended up getting my numbers finally thank god um one other addition i added these little pool floaties right here these little pool floaties i just bought it and cut it down the middle and i put it on the side of this of this boat the reason why i put it on the side of this boat because this boat may be made of plastic and it has this ridge on it right here. When it, um, when it, when I'm on the bridges or whatever and I'm bumping into water columns, I don't really want to, uh, want it to damage the side of the boat. So I kind of put them on both sides to take a look real quick. Um, you know, as a bumper guard, so to speak. Um, only other thing I've did. Uh, I added some flooring and, re and I said I wasn't going to do it, but I done it and I did everything when I with the with the weight consideration like what I'll turn it on in a minute. Okay, okay. that's my son y'all he, he always out here working with me or whatever, but uh, most definitely um, So when I did the flooring I Just was thinking about the weight like I didn't want to add wood. I didn't want to do anything So this is just an exercise like yoga thing. They look like come together I just measured it, cut it out, put it under there. Now, I got a bilge pump in the back I added. I ran the wires up under the floor, and it comes out in the front. So, where the battery sits by the trolling motor, all my electronics will be plugged up there. The um, fish finder I'm using is the Piranha Max uh, 4 Hummingbird. I I've already had this on here. Like I said, some of this stuff I've already had on here. Um... This is just one of my rulers, one of my measuring rulers. All I did was zip tie it to the seat, put this little clamp on it so it won't be, you know, falling around or whatever. When I need to use it, I can just reach up under there, unclamp it, boom, pull it out, do what I got to do. Uh, so the biggest thing I added was this outboard right here. This is the Hankai 4.0, uh, 4 horsepower, uh, 4 stroke. I ended up adding this. Uh... And that's why I moved the trolling motor to the front. That's why I started thinking about weight distribution. Um, it's not really even that heavy. Like, that's what's blowed my mind. Like, it's not even that heavy. Um, 
So I'm going to be using that now on some of the bigger lakes uh, that allow gas so I can get on through. Because I hate using this trolling mode and people zipping past me. Uh, I had a guy burn me in a kayak. I ain't lying. I'm talking about, I don't know what kind of kayak. He had one of them old town kayaks. And I'm talking about this dude shot past me. And I was I was wide open in that little 30 pound thrust uh, uh, trolling motor. And he shot past me like I was standing still. I said, oh, no, 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 we ain't going to do that. So anyway, uh, I raised my seat up. I raised my seat up in the back reason why and i left my sons like it is he's six you see him he back there now thinking he he the man or whatever but i raised my seat up because right here on the pelican bass rate is where your rods sit at right i told you guys i got this bungee cord just to strap my rods in but me being a bigger guy kind of stubby it was hard for me to stand up from this low point so i rolled raised my seat up and um in doing so it keeps it keeps me from knocking off my rods with my feet because if I turn when you turn in the seat and you're sitting in these swiveling, if you're sitting down this low, you have to lift your legs up around this to to do this number here, and that's a little too much. That's a little too much. Um, one other thing I added right here on the back side, I put flex seal tape around the back end reason why because of weight distribution when i'm going through the water this part right here is the lowest part it's closer to the water so i'm trying to keep any extra water from getting in i'm still going to do a little more uh flex seal tape around the edges just around this rubber seal right here y'all need to think about that flex seal will go right there man it'll help you out you know what i'm saying um under the bottom i don't know if i'm gonna be able to show you but under the bottom some black right here Still left of it. Maybe some showing right up in here. Under the bottom of this, I got like that truck bed spray. It's like what you use to spray your bed of your truck to repaint it or regrip it or whatever. I got that on the bottom of there. The reason why I got that, because I use this like a kayak. I just put it up, pull up at the um ramp. I sit mine down on the cement, put it halfway in the water. I'm I'm pushing mine on the cement on the ground all the time. So to keep from rubbing off all my plastic or scratching the bottom of it up, even though this is hard ram mix material, I just went on ahead and went that route. You know what I'm saying? Uh, just for added protection. Just for added protection. So in a nutshell, man, you see my anchor over there. That's my little bag. Like when I'm, I mean my little basket when I'm fishing for brim and crappy or whatever. In a nutshell, that's all I've done. I haven't done anything extra that I went already on here. This. The uh, fish finder was on here. The uh, rod holders, they were on here. Like, I lay my rods down, put them in here. You know what I'm saying? This was for a kayak. You know what I mean? They fit in there. Boom, I clamp them down. Then I take my bungee cord, strap the bungee cord over. They don't go nowhere. Everything else was here. Only thing upgrades I made was to the seat. I added an outboard motor. And I switched down around my uh, trolling motor. Put a little flooring in and these side little bumpers y'all think about these bumpers man think about these bumpers think about flex sealing this this plastic right here man you don't want this this rubber right here when you up under them water when you up under them bridges man that'll just be extra protection you know what i'm saying and it ain't weighing your boat down it ain't putting a whole bunch of extra stuff on your boat you know what i'm saying this right here man this don't weigh nothing but guess what boom boom let me hit something i'm good i'm good but anyway that's all I got for you guys today. My son, uh, see, he got his Gators on. We Florida Gators fan right here. That's why the blue, you see the blue, you know what I mean? We representing. Anyway, um, my son wants to get in this water, man, so I got to go to work, so I'm going to let him play for a little while, man. But I appreciate you guys tuning in. Welcome back to Galilee 3 TV. Let's get this fishing season kicking off for me. Anyway, I know some of y'all been fishing. I've been fishing, too. I just ain't been doing no recording. But anyway, thanks for tuning in, Galilee 3 TV, where we're not only fishermen, we're fishers of men. God bless you. Greetings in the name of Lord Jesus, our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Y'all have a blessed day. Peace.